Tariq Chaikawi is here. Tariq is TRT World's Research Centre Manager. Tariq, thank you so much indeed for, your, uh, for coming into the studio. Uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan's increasing uh, friendliness towards Qatar and this visit, does this now definitively 100% place Turkey in the Qatari camp as opposed to the Saudi camp? Well, I think uh, there is a, this is a very good visit, first of all, because it's, uh, it's an ongoing dynamic, it's an ongoing momentum. It has taken place since uh, 2014. There have been many summits. There is a high strategic committee that, uh, that is regulating the relationship between both parties. It's the highest uh, representation between both parties. I think this is also an affirmation of strong ties between both. Uh, we have seen that, for example, Qatar was, and the leader of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim, was one of the first to support uh, President Erdogan during the coup attempt. He was the first leader to call him in 2016. Likewise, during the blockade of Qatar, Turkey was, detriment, was uh, instrumental in, um, in alleviating the concerns, the military and defense concerns for Qatar. So this visit is definitely a, a very good step forward between, uh, the, in the relation between both parties. I, I wouldn't categorize it as necessarily against one camp or the other because both parts, uh, you know, there, there's also this uh, information that Qatar is currently discussing uh, with the Saudis and others in order to make things return to a semblance of uh, at least of, of normalcy. We'll see how these things go, but in the meantime, I think uh, Turkey is affirming the solidity of, uh, of the relationship. Yeah, but what about reaffirming the solidity of political philosophies? Because it does appear that both countries, Turkey and Qatar, say, share some kind of idea about possibly where Islam fits into the world of politics as well, and support for the Muslim Brotherhood will be one of those. There are other countries who have a completely diametric opinion. So that also brings these two countries closer together, do you think? Well, there are certainly a lot of affinities between both parties. I, I wouldn't necessarily categorize it as, you know, understanding of pol the place of political Islam, which, of course, there are some similarities. But I think uh, if we see the position of both countries during the Arab Spring, both supported the change, both supported uh, pro-democracy forces uh, in different places. Uh, some of these uh, areas are still uh, under conflict, uh, and um, sometimes both countries are supporting the same, uh, same camps in this, in this conflict. So, yeah, overall we can say that there is an affinity, there is a lot of harmony in, the, in, in several dossiers. It doesn't mean this uh, harmony is, um, you know, waterproof. There are, of course, situations where both parties can still discuss uh, the issues at stake. And I think this, this kind of meetings are there to, uh, again, uh, affirm where the, the strength of the relations is and also uh, look at areas of potential conflict to dissolve them and make the relations solid and stronger and strategic. Sure. We've got one minute before we have to go off air. So we understand the importance of a country of 80 million people, Turkey, as a supplier to Qatar during the blockade, and food would be a really good example. But what comes the other way? What does Turkey need from Qatar? I think this is very uh, important. Uh, I'm glad you, you brought this forward because it's, uh, it's a two-way two highway. And uh, yes, in terms of size and in terms of, uh, of hard power, Turkey is much advanced than, uh, than, uh, than Qatar. But in terms of soft power, I think Qatar is also very well placed. I think they are bringing a lot of investment. I think these this discussions today and this visit today will be about uh, bringing some fruits and some uh, economic fruits for uh, this relationship. Uh, I think this is something that the Turkish part is very keen on developing ahead, especially that, as you mentioned earlier, there were some issues with the Saudis and the, and the Emiratis. So in terms of economy, I think this is a, a good uh, step and we hope to see some fruits out of it. Always a pleasure to have you here. Tarek, thank you so much indeed. Tarek Chakawi and headlines are in a